Well, Stefan, we'll just, I'll just start with you in terms of uh, obviously you guys didn't get the result that you wanted. What are the feelings right now? I think everybody's disappointed. Um, it's, a, it's a beatable team, especially at home. Um, you know, everybody wants three points out of that game. Um, I think we just got, I don't know, we, we had some good moments in the second half, almost scored, but um, just couldn't break, break their block. Uh, it's frustrating for sure. Go to Jeremiah next. Yeah, uh, Danny, what did you guys think of your ability to kind of control the midfield early in the in the first half? Yeah, I think um, the first half overall, I think me and Josh uh, and Freddie did, did pretty well to get on the ball, just maintain possession. I think we need a little bit more just attacking movements up, up top and be able to be more dynamic, but I didn't think it was too bad in, in terms of, of possession and maintaining the ball, trying to break their lines. So we could have done better. Yeah, we could have done better, but... I don't think it was uh, too bad. So. Eh, buenas. En primer lugar, felicitarlos por el pase a la final. Gran partido. Eh, la pregunta es, eh, ¿el resultado de hoy tiene algo que ver con el desgaste propio de un partido como el miércoles en la parte física y anímica? ¿Cuánto influyó el partido del miércoles en el resultado de hoy. Sí. No, yo creo que obviamente el resultado no fue el que queríamos. Obviamente hubo muchos cambios en, en la alineación titular. Entonces yo creo que no, no fue parte influyente mucho en el resultado porque hubo nuevos jugadores que, que empezaron. Uh, siempre después de un partido tenemos muchos partidos esta temporada están conjuntos y tratamos de recuperarnos de la mejor manera y no importa quién, quién empiece, eh, todos quieren hacer su trabajo y jugar de la mejor manera, entonces yo creo que esa no es excusa del resultado de hoy, yo creo que entraron los jugadores que habían empezado el otro partido, impactaron bien, los que empezaron también dieron su, su 100%, entonces obviamente no fue el resultado, pero no creo que, que fue la razón tampoco. Um, uh, so the, the question was, congrats on the final, uh, uh, achieving the final in the CONCACAF Champions. Uh, the question is, um, is, the, is the result uh, an influ is influenced by the fact that uh, the games that you had on, with the CONCACAF champion in the, during the week? Uh, the answer from Danny was um, no. Um, it's, of course, it's not the result that we wanted, but um, uh, we did enough changes on the formation so people who actually started the game was fresh. And, um, and, and it should not influence that. Of course, with those many changes, challenges come, but at the same time, it's, it's not an excuse. It's not something that we can take that as, a, as, a, as an excuse for the result today. Just a reminder for participants on Zoom, if you have a question, please hit that raise hand function button so we can get around to your inquiries. Any other questions here in the room? Maz, yeah, I see ya. We'll let you grab the mic for your follow-up. Danny, I, I hope this question wasn't asked, but on the attacking part of it, it was just, just a matter of trying to, the recognition in terms of finding the spots there. Or was it something that they were doing in their, in their, in their uh, Wolf or block there? Yeah, obviously I think um, we had Freddie and Will up top. Uh, I don't think we gave them enough support in the, in the first half, but obviously Inter Miami were playing a little deep and it was kind of hard at moments to break them down since they were uh, too deep. But Second half, I thought we did a lot better to, to find them in the gaps, in the pockets, and sometimes in behind. So I think we improved that as the game went on, and, and yeah. Okay, Matt, any questions on Zoom so far? Uh, yes, we have one uh, so far. We'll go to Jada Evans. Thanks. Um, I wanted to see, uh, Steph, if you could kind of talk a little bit about what maybe was uh, talked about at halftime. Um, the changes that maybe uh, you guys thought you could make, and then also your your thoughts on the goal, like what happened kind of leading up in, to that goal that they got. Yeah, I think at halftime we just made a few changes, uh, talked a little, tactics a little bit, but you know we knew that they were going to sit. We just had to get at them. Uh, we wanted to you know, get a goal off the bat and get, right back, get back in the game. Uh, and then I think that if we had gotten an early goal in that second half, we would have been fine. Momentum would have been with us. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. Uh, and then with the goal, you know, we kind of knew how, how Miami plays, especially away from home. They sit and then they counterattack. They have fast guys up top. They have good services. Uh, and unfortunately, we got caught in possession. 
and that's exactly what happened is they counterattacked, beat us down the left side, and then uh, I mean, a good cross. I, I think Kellen was right there. Uh, it was kind of just an unlucky bounce. I think him, Kellen, and I'm not sure who scored, whoever scored was, uh, you know, got the ball at the same time and then just bounced in the corner. Um, unlucky, uh, but, you know, that's how the game goes, and we weren't able to break them down and fight for that goal back. Felipe. Thank you, Matt. Uh, la pregunta es para Dani. Uh, Dani, me gustaría preguntarte o saber eh, cuánto tiempo le toma a un jugador para adaptarse a una alineación que nunca había estado junta y cómo te sentiste tú eh, por esta oportunidad que se te brindó para este encuentro. Sí, obviamente... Este partido hicimos varios cambios en la alineación y yo creo que como la temporada pasada uh, hubo muchas lesiones y muchos cambios también. Y yo creo que todos ajustaron bien, todos tenemos la misma idea de juego en términos de la táctica, de cómo queremos jugar y, y siempre salir a ganar. Entonces yo creo que todos entramos con esa mentalidad de, de ganar y, y obviamente yo en lo personal me sentí muy bien después de no jugar tanto tiempo. Empecé con una lesión en, en la pretemporada, pero... Me sentí bien este partido, tener más minutos de, de los que he tenido y nada, seguir mejorando de este partido y viendo hacia adelante. Gracias. Uh, so the questions were, how much a time that it takes to a player to adapt to a, to a completely new formation uh, as uh, you guys had today? And then in addition, I would like to know how you feel about you having the opportunity to start uh, in the game today after a few, a few games uh, during the league. Um, uh, Danny's answer was, uh, of course, there were many changes on the formation today, and, but we are always prepared for that. We have the mentality that we have to embrace the different changes and try to play the best, uh, even though there are changes. And we always have that mentality to try to win, even though we have changes on the formation. Um, besides that, I felt great about having uh, minutes, more minutes today after uh, not being able to start a few games because injuries and, and different other situations. So I was very happy that I was given the opportunity to start and have more minutes so I can continue to regain my form. It looks to be it from Zoom. Uh, so I'll toss it back to Alex. Thanks, Matt. We'll take one more in the room here and then let the guys go before we welcome in Brian. And that one will be from Jeremiah O'Shan. Yeah, uh, Steph, I guess if you could just sort of um, articulate the you know, the, the general feeling, I, I mean, because I think it, it, on one hand, it's it's the highs of, of advancing from the midweek to, you know, the frustrations I would imagine of today and, and how you go about balancing that and, and how you go about moving on from, from a, a game like this or if it's maybe it's not even hard to move. I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, you're right. This is kind of how the season goes. There are ups and downs. But for a team that is as deep and as quality as ours, I think every game we should be we should be expecting results. Um, yes, Wednesday was a very big high, but like Dan Danny mentioned before, there were enough changes within the lineup that uh, we had energy and we had the legs, and we just we have to capitalize. Um, so I think everybody's very frustrated because here at every game is as, is the most important game. Uh, so while people are were excited about Wednesday, you know that was Wednesday. Tonight we needed to focus on tonight and. To be fair, I think we did, and we just that's we're frustrated about it. Nobody's nobody's reminiscing on Wednesday anymore. Um, but at the end of the day, we can't do anything more about tonight. Uh, it's frustrating, but now we have San Jose.